to me, designing or creating a window and then fabricating it and then installing it, that's a part of my soul. That's, that's, a, that's who I am. And I'm putting it out there and I'm going, here I am. This is it, right? Stained glass is sort of an art form that, because it's so stationary, it's always there. And even if you went to churches as a kid or anything, all this stuff just sort of became blurry because it was there all the time and you never really noticed it, at least I didn't. And it wasn't until I started um, my apprenticeship when I got an opportunity to, to go around to a lot of different churches. And it was the newer modern stuff that really um, provoked me. There was a woman uh, from the 20s and the 30s and the 40s in Toronto, Yvonne Williams. She had done this huge window behind the, um, the choir up in the loft and the window was of Jesus as a man on this, this earth and he was in blue jeans with no shirt on and I just thought this is incredible and it's so different than say painting because I can't throw in this glass and that glass and this glass into a pot and stir it and get the colors. You know, I can't do that. So, you know, there are certain limitations, but then there are certain things you can do to, to expand those limitations and to stretch them. I think it's got a lot to do with the interaction of light, you know, because light is life, to me anyways. And then as, as the light changes throughout the day, the window changes throughout the day. And, and uh, it's not only the color in, in, in a stained glass window for me, because at nighttime it has to do something too. And at nighttime all you've got really is your lead mines. So they've got to tell me a story or do something to me inside. Um, and, and sometimes it's just a matter of its movement. Or it's, or it's safe, or it's calm, or, it, or, or it's, it, it's not, or it's, it's... This was a pretty big project. The ideas for the... Uh, design came quick. The only difficulty I had with doing these windows is when I was cutting them up and painting them, I didn't have a large enough easel that I could see a whole section of the window at one time. If you're usually doing a, a larger window and you're, you know, you're painting it, you have a large easel that you can make sure that this glass looks good with this glass so you don't have those I wish I could change moments. So the first time I saw the window finished was the first time pretty well everybody else could too. It always seems to be a learning process and um, it worked out well.